4, 3, 2, action สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome back to Speak Thai with Pra today and today I am here with No p o n g h a s Yes and today we're going to talk about Thai sentence structure. You know Thai structure is very simple. It's actually similar to English structure. We have subject followed by verb and object. Okay, let's see an example. For example. พ่อซื้อรถพ่อซื้อรถ in English father bought a car พ่อ is a father ซื้อ bought รถ a car for the next example ฉันรักคุณฉันรักคุณ I love you ฉัน I รัก love คุณ you Here we go. This is very simple and easy, isn't it? Okay, and usually in Thai language, we have something not quite similar to English, but um, you can learn this very easy. In Thai structure, we have pronouns. For example, pa, kau, s u r o t pa, kau, s u r o t Pronoun followed by its subject noun and verb object. So this is another example of Thai structure. Uh, for next another example, ครูเขาไม่มาครูเขาไม่มา In English, it means like teacher. He not come. Teacher. He not come. But for grammatic, grammatically correct, uh, in English, it means the teacher didn't come. Okay. Okay, and last one. Usually, Thai people may omit the subject if we already understood what we mentioned for. For example, I would say, ไปซื้อของ rather than ฉันไปซื้อของ Now, Paul, can you give Another example. ต้องรีบไปซื้อให้ต้องรีบไปซื้อให้ In English, it means like I must rush off and buy some for her. Yes. Okay. So today we learned three things. First, Thai um, sentence structure. We have subject, verb, and object. For example. ฉันกินข้าว Okay, and next, what have we learned? Uh, for the next one is the in Thai, the subject noun will follow immediately with the with the pronoun with its pronouns. For example, uh, พ่อเขาซื้อรถ And the last one, Thai people we always not always but usually omit the pronoun. For example, rather than I say, ฉันไปซื้อของ I say, ไปซื้อของ Okay, I hope you learned something from us today. Bye. Let's see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.